Hey, welcome to Hannity. And we begin tonight with the Fox News alert. Israel tonight is at war, a fight for its very survival after a barbaric terrorist attack, an invasion by Hamas, the deadliest attack in that country's history. In this full-scale terrorist invasion, than during 9-11. Many have been saying this is Israel's 9-11. But if you look at the amount of people who live in Israel, this would be similar to killing more than 35,000 Americans in one day. On 9-11-01, 2,977 Americans were slaughtered that day, many thereafter with 9-11 related illnesses. But you do know what the Biden administration, you know what their first instinct was? To tell Israel, oh, please stand down. Just accept your fate. Look at this now deleted tweet from the weekend, quote, we urge all sides to refrain from violence and retaliatory attacks, terror and violence of nothing. All sides, excuse me, retaliatory attacks. Oh, you can't fight back. All right. Did Hamas write that tweet or do the people that work in the Biden White House, are they really just that stupid? If anyone ever killed the equivalent of, of 35,000 plus Americans, you don't think you would want your government to strike back with with a fierce, uh, a, a fierce intensity, the likes of which nobody's ever seen before? Because I know that would be my reaction. And today, your so-called president, he was nowhere to be found. He seemingly just took the day off. White House, they called the lid. That means you will not be hearing from the president again for the rest of the day. At about noon today, if you want to be exact, 11.51 a.m., Biden then attempted to shamelessly capitalize on these attacks. Oh, guess what we got about an hour ago? A news dump releasing a statement confirming that Joe Biden has been questioned by the special counsel over his mishandling of classified documents. How convenient to do it when we're on the a verge of an all-out war. We're, Israel is now at war with Hamas and all their related organizations. And get this, Biden actually hosted a big party and a barbecue with a live band. American citizens, they're being tortured, they're being murdered in Gaza, and our greatest ally in the Middle East reels from an unprecedented terrorist attack, and Joe Biden's having a cookout. Pretty sick, but it gets worse. In 2021, Joe Biden sent nearly 400 million U.S. tax dollars to the Palestinian Authority, despite concerns from officials that money would boost Hamas and result in more terror attacks. Well, more recently, Biden gifted Iran. Remember that special deal, the $6 billion that they took out of uh, what was a South Korean bank and moved it into a Qatar bank after asking the Mullers to, to pinky promise that they would only spend it on humanitarian uh, projects, even though the president of Iran roundly rejected that publicly on NBC. Apparently, no one in the Biden administration, not our dumb president or vice president or secretary of state, seemed to realize Money is fungible. What does that mean? In other words, OK, you take money that they would otherwise have to spend themselves and that frees them up to continue to be the world's number one state sponsor of terrorism. Tisha Paul and welcome to America and Television News. Go ahead, friends and folks and family and everyone that's watching. Hit the free like and that free subscribe button. It helps a lot. Our team really needs this. So please hit the like and free subscribe button. Hi, we're about to talk about Sean Hannity's monologue on why Israel should win Hamas. But I wanted to show you some tag products, Benefit Cosmetic. They are so lovely, ladies. You've got to see it. Just go on the tag products. We've got like 30 tag products every video we make. Some are also technology, guys. We've got electronics. And you got to check them out every day. Just check our videos and check the tag products. You are just going to love them. And now on through 1130, 2023, Benefit Cosmetic is given 30% off. Use YouTube 30. We're about to go back to our segment. I'm Tisha Powell. We'll see you shortly. So I'm Tisha Paul, and you've seen my face on Fox News. Think about the Megan Kelly days, Tucker Carlson days, Bill O'Reilly days. Fox and Friends, Trisha Reagan Days, I'm here now doing the news. So I want to talk about what Fox News' Sean Hannity had to say about Israel and the war in Hamas. But I just want to go over what the New York Times has said. There is about 11,000 people that are either killed or injured th during this war. October 7th, 2022, Israel saw like the worst, worst of it. 
air, sea, and land, they got attacked by Hamas. And that is just off the wall. And Israel is doing what it's supposed to do. It's going to attack Hamas. And for us to be here protesting, we are just being hypocrites. Because when America was attacked, America went ahead and attacked. Israel is attacked. Israel needs to defend itself. So, so far, 1,200 Israelis got killed. That's a lot. 6,900 injured. 383 soldiers got killed. And that's through October 7, 2020. This is just really sad news. So, there was 50 hostage that got released on November 22nd. And there was a four-day uh, fight where they paused. So that was good to know. Of course, the Palestinians got 150 Palestinian prisoners. So why is it that the Jewish people only got 50 and the Palestinians got 150? What is it? Three to one here? Just the Palestinians saying, we are better than they are. Now, do you see why Hamas has to really go? Because it feels it's a superior nation. Also, it does not like women. So I'm surprised that there are a lot of people in the United States that are vowing and betting for Hamas to win this war when Hamas itself does not like women. So uh, there was two, the Jewish people believe there are 236 hostage that are in Gaza. That's a lot. Three Americans were released, including a three-year-old child. Can you believe Hamas had a three-year-old child with them? And you think that these are civilized people? And you got to understand what's going on. Sean Hannity is saying, telling you the truth. Israel must defend itself. And Sean Hannity talked about the fact that, you know, this October 7th of Israel is like 35,000 Americans dying. That's a lot of numbers. And what I find disturbing and people should find disturbing is that Hamas is a terrorist group and they went ahead and built themselves under a hospital so that when the Jewish people go ahead to defend themselves, Hamas is going to bring in civilized people and kill them. So this is really a barbaric group of people that, you know, Israel has to destroy off the planet. And you have to understand that you're talking about that land that they say belong to Hamas really belong to the Jews. How do we know? It is older than time. It's in the Bible. So young people, I would say, start reading the Bible, get educated on journalism, start doing your research. But the land that Hamas is fighting for belongs to the Jewish nation. So it's just barbaric that their song is even about taking over the land, land that does not belong to them. So Israel has to defend herself and America is an ally for Israel and America will always be an ally for Israel.